water is hot. Oh my goodness, this water is hot. <gasps> Give me the bubbles. I'm here for the bubbles. Why are all the bubbles in one area? I was just sick. I had a sinus infection. That on top of lifelong insecurities. I haven't been feeling the best about myself. I am going to attempt to fix it in the only way that I know how. An at-home glow up. So here I am in my bathtub. Glow ups aren't just physical, they're mental as well. Baths are supposed to help your mental health, I think. Take a bath and your mental health will automatically go up 10 points. I ran myself a nice little bath with bubbles, of course. Usually for glow up videos, it's like spend a thousand dollars here, spend two hundred dollars here. For this, I'm just gonna use stuff I already have. Obviously that means I can't like get my hair done or anything, but I can cut my hair. It's definitely in need of a little bit of a trim. We can do our face with some intensive skincare tonight. I'm itching my legs profusely right now. I'm not sure if it's because I'm allergic to the bubbles or it's the bug bites that are all over my legs. I hate bugs, I hate summer. I just, why did I leave Wisconsin? We're gonna do our makeup, pick out a cute outfit. We're gonna make ourselves look about as good as we can from home. bumps off of my arms. I've always had them. It's really good. From First Aid Beauty. I know you guys love showering with me. Get it all in there. Putting a little bit of this in. You're probably a mix that blonde girl. It's me. Face wash. This is an exfoliant. Mix them together. Shake, shake, shake. It's always one step forward and three steps back. I will leave you but the roller coaster is all I've ever had. I can't get that one scene from Tangled out of my head. The birthday one? It's my birthday! That was good. Lupa, really get in there, wash everything. Well, not everything. I have an unscented bar of soap for my you-know-what area. We take care of our punanis. Maybe I should call it a panuni to be more unique. Panuni, panuni, panuni. Best razor there is. It's a men's one. I ran out of shaving cream, so I'm gonna use conditioner. This is so hard. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Oh. fresh out the shower. My camera died, but don't worry. Your content is not lacking. I just put this in my hair. It is number six from Oloplex. I also put some of the Oloplex bonding oil. My poor hair. I dyed my hair brown because I felt like I needed to do it. And look at my poor hair. What is that? If there's something I don't recommend you do, it's dye your hair brown if you want to be blonde. Going brown is easy. Going blonde is not. And I had the most healthy, beautiful blonde hair. And now it just is not it. I'm going to have to cut it a little and hopefully it gets better. I've been using Oloplex for a long time now and I haven't noticed a single difference. The whole Oloplex shebang bang. The shampoo and conditioner, these nuggets. I do this treatment once a week at least. It's okay, everyone makes mistakes. I already feel better, so just take a shower. If you don't have time for a whole glow up, take a shower. I just was mentioning to you guys how bad my hair is. I was scrolling on TikTok waiting for my camera to charge and I just had what well, wasn't really my idea. It was a TikTok that I saw as idea. It reminded me of rice water and how great and amazing it's supposed to be for your hair. I've never done it. So we're gonna make some rice water. My rice is in a Ziploc bag because my cat put a hole in it. This is long grain white rice and we're gonna wash it. This is a very weird sensation. I never have washed my rice. You guys have 
roasted me a few times for not washing my rice. Look how cloudy that is. It looks like skim milk. Now we drain it, and you're gonna need a jar that has a cover on it that can close, because we're gonna ferment this. This is gonna make a mess. Rice is in the container. Now we fill the container with water. She said to shake it. <laughs> and now you sit and let it ferment for like 12 to 24 hours, and then you rinse your hair out with it. I don't know if this is gonna do anything, but I'll update you guys at the end of the video. I'll see you tomorrow. Ooh, what is, what is that? I feel like you can't do an at-home glow up without doing some skincare. I'm really guilty of not taking care of my skin as much as I should. I have all of these skincare products and I I don't do any of them. We're gonna be realistic. I did wash my face in the shower. That is something I did accomplish. I'm gonna stick with my less is more mentality. I bought this last serum that I've never used, so we're gonna do this. I'm getting my period. So these are the little pimple patches that I use. I'm getting a really big pimple right here. I'm hoping I can bring her to the surface. How y'all doing? I feel like these are just necessary. They have face strips and nose strips, especially because we're gonna put makeup on tomorrow. Before I grab a wet towel, I'm opening the face one because this is way too big. I have a really small forehead apparently. I have a three head. I don't have a forehead. I cut the face one in half and I use half of it in between my eyebrows and the other half on my chin. A really wet washcloth that has hot water on it and I start by holding it on the spot that I want to steam. Well, I'm kind of steaming my whole face. I can't really breathe. This helps to open up your pores. Not only am I a beauty guru, I'm also a dermatologist. Beautiful. They're either hit or miss. I either put it on right and it pulls out a lot or I don't and I get nothing. I'm putting on this Laneige lip balm. I'm gonna feel so good about myself tomorrow. It's hard to talk because of the one on my chin. They're not working. I didn't wanna do them in the bathroom because I already had the camera set up out here and now it didn't stick to my chin. It's not really drying on my nose, but we'll find out, I guess. Brush out the lashes. Oh, I'll zoom you in. Get a good look at my lashes because they're about to be 10 times fluffier. Mighty patch. They just look like this and I get them from Target. And now the pimple is trapped in there. It wasn't even attached to my skin. Literally like not a single blackhead. In our hearts, it worked. We can lie to ourselves. I've been really into first aid beauty products recently. I don't know who to listen to when it comes to like skincare tips online because everyone says something different. This is just the first aid beauty ultra repair cream and I think I took way too much. Oh, my skin is so dry. Look at my skin just suck that up. Also, my skin just gets red whenever I touch it. I'm just using this Dermalogica ultra calming mist. It makes me feel good. Boom bow, that's how you fix that. And that's our skin. I can officially go to bed. Pray that this pimple is gone in the morning. Beauty sleep is very important. Your body needs sleep, otherwise it won't function. Keep hydrating. None of this is gonna work if you don't drink water. Outfits kind of set the tone. For your vibe. Picking out today's outfit is gonna be so freaking easy thanks to the sponsor of today's video, which is ThreadUp. If you guys know me, I've been working with ThreadUp for years now, which is crazy. It is about time we can take off our sweatpants and our sweatshirts and we can go outside and some cute summer clothes. ThreadUp is an online consignment store aka a thrift store, with women's and kids clothing. It has over 40,000 different brands. Like you're bound to find your favorite brand on ThreadUp and they always are having new arrivals, like literally every single day. They don't just sell clothes, they have shoes, purses, different accessories, all for up to 90% off the original retail value. And I really like it because you can shop right from your phone. You don't have to go outside and go to the store. You don't gotta get dressed. It's as simple as opening your phone, which I know you already do. In fact, you're probably on your phone right now. I'm calling you out. And if you stay tuned, there's a special promo just for you guys. Outfit number one, I might change out the skirt and try the skirt with like a white shirt or this top with a jean skirt. This top is so stinking cute. It's just a 
halter top from Wild Fable. It's estimated original retail value is $30, but on front up, I only had to pay $15.99. This is not something I would have wore a year and a half ago. I did not like to show my arms. Now living in Florida, it's hot as shit, and I'm not gonna be in sweatshirts all the time. It's just not realistic. This skirt I also got from Thread Up. It's an ASO skirt. The estimated original retail value of this skirt is $36. Did I pay that? No. I only paid $18.99. It is this burgundy skirt. I don't know if you can tell on camera. It's like soft. I like it. Keep this in your mind. This is option one. Outfit number two. This outfit's kind of boring right now, but I feel like if it's chosen, we can spice it up. The top that I'm wearing is from Shein. It's just like a t-shirt material top, but if you can tell at the bottom right here, it cinches it. I feel like it's very flattering. Sometimes t-shirts get really long and overpowering on me because I don't have much of a torso because I'm really short. The estimated retail value of this shirt is $15 and I only paid $12.99. I just paired it with this long white skirt. This outfit's a little more out there. I don't know how you guys are gonna feel about it. When I saw this shirt, I had to have it. I look like a monarch butterfly. It's supposed to be like done in the back. So if we choose this one, I'll do it up. This is from Shein and it's got butterflies on it and cheetah print. The estimated original retail value of this is $15. I only paid $10.99 and I just paired it with a black skirt and we could do some black or white shoes. Maybe even my like cow print Air Force Ones bringing three animals into the mix. I don't know. I just feel like this gives off I'm willing to step out of my comfort zone vibes because this definitely is going to draw attention. On to our final outfit. This outfit is definitely the most me and even though it's not the craziest, I think I feel the most like Samantha Joe in this one. This pink shirt is from American Eagle. It's the softest, like most breathable, comfortable material I've ever put on. The estimated retail value of this is $25 and I only paid $14.99. I just took it and tied it in the front so it wouldn't be so long and so big. And then I paired it with these white shorts. I know this is probably the most boring of the outfits. I have these cute pink sneakers with my hair done kind of cute and some cute makeup. I think I would look quite nice. I keep saying to myself like which one has the most hot girl summer vibes, but hot girl summer is kind of like whatever you make it. Like however I feel my best is how I'm gonna be the most confident and that's how I'm gonna give off the most hot girl summer vibes. So guess, which outfit do you think I'm gonna wear at the end of the video in the comments below? Huge thank you to Thread Up for sponsoring this video and allowing me to have all of these amazing outfits. Outfit. Click the link in the description box and use code Samantha Joe for an extra 30% off your first order with ThreadUp. I promise you, you're not gonna regret it. And I always have so much fun just like searching through the site. It's just like any other thrift store. Dig, and there's so many amazing things waiting there for you. Let's keep the ball moving. I wanna feel hot. I already am hot, but you know what I mean. I feel like my hair being dry allows you to see the extent of my situation. These areas of my hair are pretty fried. And just in general, like these under parts, it's not it. I've cut my hair before and it was awful. So today we're just gonna try and give ourselves a little trim. I'm using kitchen scissors, so I'm just wiping them off. <laughs> I feel like these are like the sharpest scissors that I have. I'm not gonna do anything crazy. We're just gonna give ourselves a little at home trimmy trim. These poor babies are so fried, but I don't think like, cutting them is gonna help anything. Don't get your hopes up, okay? I'm literally doing the bare minimum here. The amount of treatments I do to my hair, it's still this dry and still this dead. Cut off all the little ones that are sticking out. And then maybe like the tips, or you can just can someone that's a hairdresser like let me know if this is gonna help my hair or not? Or am I just doing this for no reason? Healthier! <laughs> no. I have a knot. It's no bueno. I was gonna curl my hair because I'm trying to learn how to actually use a curling iron. You know how our generation grew up using wands. I'm trying to learn how to actually use a curling iron with a clamp, but I'm not sure I wanna put heat on my hair right now. We might not actually do a lot to my hair, but I just made you guys sit through like a 20 minute makeup video the other day. So I probably won't show you my entire makeup. We will do our eyes. First things first is I'm gonna put some concealer on my eyeballs. I don't actually own 
an eyeshadow primer. Just not really that high on my priority list. Look at me, I'm doing my makeup again. I told you, I'm gonna start doing it more. I mean it when I say, I'm gonna be the next beauty guru. I'm gonna be the one that makes the beauty community fun and good again. I don't watch makeup videos anymore because there's so much drama in the beauty community for no reason. I'm just minding my own damn business over here. I'm just here to have a good time, you know? I'm done being portrayed as the like nasty fat girl. I mean, I still fart. In fact, driving the other day, I almost shit myself, but that's just because I have stomach problems. It was not good. I held off a love's bathroom for a while. Using this palette again, it's the Huda Beauty Naughty Palette. Dude, my train of thought, my brain. Look what my cat did to me while I was sleeping last night. He was laying on me, like I was laying on my side and he was laying on me and he put his face in my ear and was purring. If I was awake would be cute, but when you're trying to sleep, that's not cute. And so I kept like pushing him off of me and I guess at one point when I pushed him off of me, mind you, I was like literally half sleeping enough that I didn't notice this happen. He clawed the shit out of my arm. And now this is what we're dealing with. Also, I can't decide between this outfit and the butterfly one. I just feel like because we're talking about hot girl summer, the butterfly one has to be the move. And since I'm gonna take it easy on my hair, I'm gonna have to like come out with the eyes. What if we like full on go with this high degree color and put it on our lids? Oops, I did it. Why are you crying, Duncan? The cat doesn't want to play with him, and he hates that. There's a lot more going on than I initially planned. I'm gonna have to darken this outer part or it just doesn't look right. Can you see Duncan? I put him in a Tampa Bay Lightning jersey. I don't know if that looks like booty cheeks. But we're gonna do it to the other eye too. I think it's definitely clear I'm wearing the butterfly outfit. I didn't have to pick, the makeup picked for me. I'm just cleaning up the lines. I'm gonna do my face makeup the exact same way that you guys saw me do it in my last video, so you guys can go watch that. Those were very different. That's okay. Nothing a little makeup remover wipe can't fix. I have this white liner that I could add little dots or something to look more like a monarch butterfly. You see them? That's cute. Look, I'm a butterfly. One lash on. You guys get the point. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and I'll be right back. Again, the thread up for sponsoring today's video and for making it such a fun time for us. Make sure you guys click the link in the description box and use code Samantha Joe at checkout to get an extra 30% off your first order with thread up. I really had fun making this video for you guys, so I hope you guys like it as much as I do. Mwah!